sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Towards the inside, bring back the money. Kimura is right there. Trumpet Voluntary is also well positioned shortly after the start. Secret Selections there on the stand side. Masanga Machine, that's in the yellow. Just in front of Casse Pacifica. They are followed by Northern Warrior. Then comes Cleto. And at this stage, Boardmasters dropped off them a couple of lengths. No name brand is towards the inside. And Freedom Dance is also about three or four lengths off the leader. As they move to the 600 meter marker, Trumpet Voluntary on the inside and Kimura on the stand side, Northern Warrior, Cleto, Masinga Machine, and further back in the run, Cafe Pacifica, then known main brand. Coming down to the 300 meter marker, Kimura on the inside and Trumpet Voluntary, these are the two. Northern Warriors on the outside, no name brands also getting into the race. Masanga Machine is on the outside and Kimura's in trouble. Trumpet Voluntary, Masanga Machine, Northern Warrior, Cafe Pacifica is also running on, they're right across the track. And Cafe Pacifica coming home to win it. Trumpet Voluntary second, Masanga Machine third, photo fourth, Northern Warrior and Kimura. Number 14 wins at Cafe Pacifica. Tristan Godin and Garth Puller, they win it by about a length and a quarter. Trumpet Voluntary will take that second position. Masanga Machine runs into third. And Kimura, the tote favorite, beaten once again. Then came Northern Warrior. And further over the line was Boardmaster. And then came No Name Brand. And they were followed by Bring Back the Money. So number 14, Cafe Pacifica, 670 and 210. And that is two off the right with the blinkers on. Masanga Machines in the all yellow on the right. Trumpet Voluntaries on the left. And Kimura is also on the extreme left-hand side. Place Accumulator at 383,000 Rand. Cafe Pacifica, the Cape Town Noir. And this one for Clifton Stud, the Khalils, Kazim, Puller and Tom. Until the third race, back to the studio. emphatic victor number 14 cafe pacifica running them down in the closing stages the three-year-old son of cape town noir bred here in kwazulu natal at the clifton stud well ridden by tristan godden but we'll talk to the connections in a moment first up let's call, uh, let's congratulate cafe pacifica's groom elpheus umtunguana congratulations 1000 rand compliments of hollywood bets and gold circle well done you must be delighted tristan godden Tristan, firstly, um, obviously we've had now two races down the straight here at Hollywood Bets uh, Scottsville. The, always difficult to gauge with the two rolls, they're kind of green, but the track looks absolutely even. Two runners down the extreme inside. You and Masanga Machine coming the outside. Seems to be possible to win from anywhere. Yes, definitely, um, um, Mr. Hawkins. Um, you know, the, the course is in impeccable shape at the moment. I mean, when we went out for the baby race, we couldn't believe it, how good the, the grass was looking. Um, um, so they can win from anywhere. The track is running a bit fast. Um, but as I say, they've done a, a wonderful job to, to maintain it and make it look so good. Well, Mr. Puller put on the blinkers. That was possibly the master stroke, stepping back from 1,600 to 1,200. But you were always in contention, and he just ran on too strongly for them. Uh, yes, Mr. Hawkins. Uh, Mr. Puller told me that he's not a horse that will travel with you and sort of quick, quicken from that. He sort of unwinds and builds up. So we were happy from the draw. We just popped him out. And Masango Machine was going a nice pace, so I just travelled quietly next to him. And he's still a big baby, this horse, he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, I think Mr. Puller's got a nice horse on his hands. Any chance of seeing you again today? Um, Mr. Hawkins, it's a competitive card today. I think it's very open racing. I think most of my rides will be courtier chances. Um, once again, just a big thanks to Mr. Puller, you know. Now that the jockeys haven't been able to travel, he's thrown me a few bones here. And then well done to the owners. The the Khalils, Kassams, Mr. Puller and the Tombs. Well done to the whole team and uh, yeah, thank, fa thankful for the support. Nice to see some of that bones have got some meat on them as well. Thank you. Garth, well done. Firstly, the decision to slap the blinkers on him. Late declaration. 
Yeah, you know what, uh, Graham? I, I thought he wouldn't get beat last time. I, they, they split the race, and I left two horses in and two horses in, and they won both the splits, and he was the better of the five horses, and he ran no sort of race around the turn. And I was scratching my head. I said, well, and Lyle rode him, and Lyle came back. He said he couldn't make any excuses. I thought, well, maybe it's the bend. So I decided to put a pair of blinkers on him just to keep to sharpen him up a little bit because now I'm coming back to 1,200 from the mile. I think his, ultimate, his best distance is going to be the mile. Um, yeah, just like a nice ride from Tristan. You know, he's a heavyweight rider, and I wanted to put a heavy boy on him because I didn't want too much dead weight. You know, I've got guys that help me like Eric Nguani and Mahudra. But their chances will come as, his, as the horses come down in the weights. Um, yeah, thanks to... Um, I've got three top guys in my stable. I've got a lot of top owners in my stable, but these are three of... Um, Mr. Kassim, who, has, who hasn't been well, but he's getting better now. Um, good luck to him. Gerald Khalil, soldier of the game. And Tony Toombs, a mate of mine and uh, uh, a good supporter of the stable. And then to uh, the guys back at home, Michael, Bishop, Eric, Sam. Uh, Sam's left now. She's with, uh, but, um, she's with uh, Lazan, but uh, uh, Wendy and Kathy back in, this, uh, in Cape Town. Uh, if you drew a line through this last source, uh, this horse's last run over 1600, and you go back to his 1200 meter form, where he ran second to Rainbow Rising, Trumpet Voluntary was uh, was behind him on that occasion. So certainly Cafe Pacifica not winning out of turn. But now let's look ahead to the the rest of the card. Quinanza, Brunilda, you were said to me off air, place chances to all of them, but perhaps Quinanza the best of the the best of the rest. Yeah, they, they, look, they all got place chances. And to go back to that form, the the second horse and the fourth horse both ran behind me on Toothless. And Toothless is a nice horse, but he, he had a break and he came back. He wasn't quite at his best when he won. And this horse was on a par, if not fitter than Toothless. So by right, they had me to beat. So I was quite confident if, he, if, if it wasn't a flat run last time. And uh, yeah, and thanks to Hollywood. I must thank them for their support um, and their sponsorship. Garth, the, ta the stable continues to tick over well. Congratulations again. Thank you very much, Graham. So there we have it. The first leg of the place accumulators come and gone. Victory to number 14, Cafe Pacifica. Fifth five, Trumpet Voluntary ran second. Thirteen, Masanga Machine third. And the favorite, number two, Kimura, disappointing yet again back in fourth position.